Welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to talk about the manufacturing process and characteristics of Aleppo soap. However, we need to analyze the current situation in Syria to understand how it is possible to find this product in our stores. Syria is a country of 187,180 square kilometers, about two-fifths the size of Spain and since 2011 is the scene of a proxy war between the United States and Russia. I am going to refer to World Bank data to analyze the current situation in Syria. Let's talk about gross domestic product. It is an indicator of the total wealth of the country. It was $40.4 trillion in 2007, dropping to $20.6 trillion in 2016. 49% less. It is necessarily to go back to 1983 to find a similar value. Let's talk about carbon dioxide emissions. 2.73 metric tons per person in 2011 and 1.82 metric tons in 2013. 33% less. The factories are stopped to destroyed. Let's talk about future generations in Syria. We are seeing the total number of students enrolled in primary education. 131,000 students in 2012, decreasing to 80,000 in 2013. 38.9% less. There is no future without education. How is Syria currently? totally divided as we are seeing in the image. The red color corresponds to the Syrian government. Green corresponds to the opposition. Black to Daesh and yellow to Kurdish military units. How is it possible to have Aleppo soap in Europe? It is very simple. Factories have moved to countries like Turkey, Lebanon or Tunisia where they can access the same raw materials. However, after the partial recovery of the city of Aleppo, some manufacturers are considering resuming production within Syria. Let's talk about more specific aspects. What is Aleppo soap? We can say that it is the result of the reaction of olive oil with sodium hydroxide. Before hardening, laurel oil is added. How can we recognize it? The soap presents a pale golden color with the manufacturer's seal on one of its faces. It is emerald green inside. We can also immerse it in water as we see on the screen. Soap floats in water due to vegetable fatty acids. Let's talk about its manufacture. In the first step olive oil and sodium hydroxide are mixed in a tank that can contain up to 10 tons of raw materials, forming a paste of soap that is cooked at 80 degrees Celsius for several days. In the process glycerin is obtained as product. In the second step the already emulsified soap paste is washed with salt water and then with fresh water to remove impurities and remove the unreacted sodium hydroxide. In the third step, the soap paste is softened with laurel oil. The proportion of bay oil may change. In the fourth step, a surface is delimited in the floor with aluminum long plates and the hot liquid soap is poured. A worker levels the soap. In the fifth step, a team cuts the soap into cubes of approximately 270 grams using a five blades rake. Then, each piece is stamped with the manufacturer's brand. Last step are drying. It is the last step. The soap will take 9 months to be ready. At the end, each cube will weigh 200 grams. This is the final composition of a soap with 4% laurel oil, 83% fatty acids, 11% water and 1% glycerin. I would like to thank Olivier Dual, who has allowed me to use his photographs. In the description you can find the link to his website. Now I'll show you how to cut one of these soaps into two pieces. I hope you liked the video. Give like and share. Hello everyone, in this video I will try to explain very briefly. How you can cut Aleppo soap. The main difficulty, when we want to perform this task, is that, this soap is extremely hard to cut. Think that for 9 months, it is stored in a warehouse. 
and during that time, what it does is to lose water. It becomes a much drier, much more consistent soap and then, when we are going to cut it, we risk breaking it. We will try to get two equal parts, but it is really complicated due to the dryness of the soap. So, what I recommend, if you want to do this task at home and share Aleppo soap with someone, is to use a kitchen knife that has a sheet of approximately 3 or 4 centimeters, and temper it with very very hot water during 15 or 20 minutes, and then logically proceed to cut. So what we are going to do is to temper this blade for 20 minutes with very very hot water and come back when everything is ready. I'm back. When the knife is very hot proceed to the cut. Do not wait a second. You do not need to dry the blade and try to do it as fast as possible. Doing it the blade will not lose heat. Put the knife on the soap. Apply your hand on the other side of the blade and slowly balance the knife and push. Try to do it with a single cut. Avoiding breaking the soap and obtaining two equal parts. The bottom base has been broken slightly. However, the cut is good enough. The soap is terribly dry. But it is the only way I have found to split the soap into two exactly equal parts and get a smoothed cut. You have to do it as you get the knife out of the water. Because otherwise, this will happen. Then if you want to get a good enough cut and be able to share your soap with someone, what you have to do is to heat a knife blade under the water and cut the soap quickly. You do not need to wring the blade, you have to do it quickly. Doing this the blade will not lose heat and you'll get the same cut as me.